right, so we've been seeing in Harbor Freight now this Armstrong power bank right here. And I've been using it a few times already. It's been in my tool bag at work. As you can see, it's fully charged. It would blink. And if not, so now let's unplug it. Now this has a few ports on the top. So let's just quickly focus in. The first port... I don't know if you can see, this is output one, it is supposed to be one amp of charging power, according to here. So you have one amp of charging power, then you have 2.4 amps of charging power out of your second port. And then you got your USB port to plug in the charge and a power button. So what I have, I'm gonna start testing it plug this wire from this thing so we're gonna go into the 2.4 but it'll be a faster charge now I've got an old iPhone that's got right now 24 of power because you're never really supposed to recharge your phones or any electronic devices when they're fully charged, they say between 20 and 80% is what you should be charging them at. So let's quickly just, because I'm doing it one hand, one hand's holding the camera. We're gonna plug it in. All right, and now let's turn it on. So this is going to be 2.4, it is 5.43, we're at 24% according to the screen. So I will be back in a little bit. I have other things to work on. 24, okay, so it's charging. So, like I said, I will be back, let's see what happens. I'm going to work on this, then I'm going to bring, after that, this iPad, which is at 35 right now and then throw that on here next. I want to see what it could do before the battery is depleted. All right, so let's see where we're at. 54 at 415, so it's charging. All right, so 88%. So we charge that. Now, we're going to charge up my old iPad that I still use that's at 30% and we're going to see how it charges up and I do use this iPad I like to watch YouTube videos and stuff on here okay now turn that back on boom 30% right here 32. We'll come back and check in a little bit. And it's going very slowly. 67%. So it can recharge it, but this does require a higher amperage. 2.7 is just going to take a long time. But it is doing it. And it did recharge this one up to focus. 88 when I turned it off so so far it looks pretty good all right all right so this is empty this up to 90 so it did one iPhone and one iPad almost fully charged back up not bad so that's what to expect from this. Today is September 2nd. It's Labor Day. And I'm doing the closure of this. I've been using this for a while now. And it still charges everything I need. Because sometimes when I'm working in the field, I don't have access to electricity. I need to plug my phones in or an iPad or even my GoPro. So this seems like a pretty good device so far. I've had it for about a month and a half so far. So 
Well, if you are in the market for a battery pack, the Armstrong from Harbor Freight should be sufficient. I haven't had it long enough to tell you how long it's going to last, if it'll survive some drops or anything, but so far I'm satisfied with it. And let me know in the comment section if you've had this, what your experiences are with it. Till next time, guys, I'm out.